is recording. All right, go, here we go. Field cost, quantas, slide one. Hi, my name is Jose Ortega. Uh, I will be talking about overweight passengers uh, versus airlines. Uh, I enjoy flying. Um, one thing I really notice is overweight people on planes that I board. Uh, the reason why I notice these things is because I have a hard time fitting in the seats. So I can only imagine how uncomfortable, let's say it's a two, three hour flight it might not be long but it's gonna be a very uncomfortable flight um, so I'm very concerned with why airlines are pointing the finger at overweight passengers that it's their fault that they have to buy two seats when realistically it's not their fault now I understand people come in different shapes and sizes but from the looks of it it, it doesn't seem like the airlines understand that um, We'll be moving on to the next slide, taking flight. The blame is being put on the overweight passengers by the airlines. And I've read tons of articles that talk about how overweight passengers are really at fault. And we'll be discussing all these topics as we go. Um, the blame should be put on the airlines. The reasons are is airplane seats are not made for everyone. Airline policies are not clear. And lastly, airline, airlines are discriminating against overweight passengers. So we'll be going on to the first topic. Uh, it's time for change. The seat size is too small. It's time for change. Right now, the seats are 17 inches. At times, I don't feel comfortable on a two, three hour flight, like I said. And imagine going seven hours in a 17 inch wide seat that I, I don't even fit myself. So it's very important for us to create change and it starts here with the seats. Um, having them buy two seats is just unacceptable. The reason is, who's gonna feel comfortable? Now as you see in this picture, he can barely fit in one seat. Now if you're making this person buy two seats, they have to sit in the middle of a crack. And how uncomfortable is that going to be for the passenger? This is not right. This is not right. So, if airlines are not willing to make seats that are fit for one third of the U.S. population considered obese, they should accommodate accommodate them without charge. According to the CDC, one third of the U.S. population is obese. So if we're not taking the right steps to helping these people uh, still fly for our, our for the airlines, you know it's it's just not right. Uh, okay. So we're gonna start over. Team flight. for change and unclear policies just in case any fuel cost that's where I go in uh, the reason they're the blame is being put on taking flight time for change fuel cost too fat to fly Kenley Tigman from New Orleans has filed an injunction against Southwest Airlines.
Hi, my name is Jose Ortega. I will be talking about overweight passengers versus airlines. Um, I enjoy flying. Uh, a lot of the things I notice when I fly is who's around me. And one of the key things that stood out to me and why I'm talking about this is the overweight passengers and how uncomfortable they, they look when they're traveling. Even whether whether it's a two, three hour flight or a six, seven hour flight, you know, it's, it's a long time to be sitting. And for the passengers that are overweight to not be able to fit in their seat, it's just, it's very alarming. And so that's why this topic is very important to me. Um, now, I, I understand that overweight passengers come in different shapes and sizes. And the blame is being put on the overweight passengers for having a hassle like having a hassle to get a flight or having to buy two flights but f I understand that people come in different shapes and sizes but from the looks of it the airlines don't understand that people come in different shapes and sizes and so the blame should be put on the airlines and not the overweight passengers a lot of the reasons why it shouldn't be put on the overweight passengers is because airplane seats are not made for everyone I myself travel a lot and I at times don't feel comfortable flying two, three hours in a 17 inch wide seat. It gets uncomfortable after an hour. So that's the big issue right now. That's the number one issue is that seats are being made for these, for overweight passengers. Number two is airline policies are not clear to them. It's who has to buy two seats? Well, how do you know you have to buy two seats? When will you find out? Is it at the gate? Who has the right to tell you that? Who has the right to tell you you have to buy a second seat? And thirdly, airlines are discriminating against overweight people. And we'll, we'll go into more detail as we go. So the first topic we're going to go into is it's time for change. Seat size has to increase. The 17 inch wide seats are not big enough for myself. So how is it going to be big enough for an overweight passenger. I weigh 170, a uh, 200 pound person might not be able to fit. So it, it's time for change in that aspect that seats need, need to become wider for everybody to have a more comfortable flight. And, uh, and it's okay. I think the biggest thing for us is to get bigger seats, but with bigger seats comes comfortable, being more comfortable, which any, if you can ask me, if I'm going to be more comfortable in a two, three hour flight, of course I'm going to pay more. I will pay that extra hundred dollars to know I'm going to be comfortable for two, three hours. And I think that's the biggest thing we need to focus on for our overweight, overweight passengers is that we're assuming they don't want to pay. The airlines are assuming they don't want to pay, but they have to make the accommodations for the overweight passengers. Okay. So it's time for change that's if from according to the CDC one third of US population is overweight it's obese you know so if we're not doing the right if we're not taking the right steps to accommodate this one third of the US population that is considered obese you know they should be able to accommodate them so we're gonna move on to the next one uh, fuel cost um, sorry let me go back fuel cost a bit a, Fuel cost. Excuse. Uh, the biggest excuse for uh, making passengers buy two seats is fuel cost. According to former Qantas airline chief, he says the reason why we do not accommodate overweight passengers is because when the passenger weigh, passengers weigh more, or where there is extra weight on the aircraft, that generates more fuel burn and higher fuel costs. Okay. So if this is all about fuel cost and you're providing a smaller seat and that person still needs to board the plane, why not provide that person that wants to fly a bigger seat? Considering, um, according to the council of, or council, the council on size and weight discrimination says builders are now building movie theaters and stadiums with 20 in, 22 inch and 24 inch seats to accommodate how 
how much th there has been an increase in height and weight. So if movie theaters and stadiums are doing this, the next step is for airlines to do this because they're saying the reason why they're charging uh, overweight passengers for two seats is because of fuel costs. But if you provide them with the proper seats at a higher cost, that that fuel cost balances out. So for them to give us the excuse that it's all about fuel costs and the reason why they're charging them for two seats, it's it's ridiculous. I, I don't understand. Um, the other thing is uh, the Council on Size and Weight Discrimination says flights are not 100% filled so what is the big deal you know that's the big question so if they're saying if this council made the uh, research on you know not all flights are being booked 100 percent so what's the big deal why not just accommodate them considering you're not providing them the right seating you know, so that's the big issue right here okay uh kenley tigman uh was told she was too fat to fly. She was on a Southwest airline flight and she followed an injunction on the airline because their policies were not clear, you know? So we have an agent come up to one of the passengers and she said, is she, this is the agent coming up to uh, Kenley Tigman and she says that the agent asked her, how much do you weigh? What size clothing do you uh, wear? And he responded after she replied. She she had no problem. And he responded by saying, you're too fat to fly on one seat, in one seat. And who has the right to tell somebody, you're too fat to fly in one seat? There should be clear policies that that say, you're, you know, you need to buy a second seat or just provide them with a bigger seat. So all of this kind of binds into one big issue. And... In a way, you're discriminating against her because a tall person that bumps into a, a, the, the seat in front of them, they're not required to buy an extra seat, but they're still making the person in front of them uncomfortable as well as this is all about being comfortable. And let me gather my thoughts. You know, we'll move on. Uh, this is all about discrimination, but we'll move on. And, uh, Uh, Harvard Medical School did a study on what con what are the contributors to obesity and three of the factors were have you been obese most of your life and if you have you're going to be obese for the rest of your life another thing is uh, if one or both of your parents are overweight or several blood relatives are overweight so based on the study obesity is not always a choice it is inherited so it from the study, it said that 80% of, and there's an 80% chance that you will be obese if one or both of your parents are overweight. Unclear policies. In the United States, the United States has not taken the right steps. In Canada, Canada went to the court and it, it was settled that it was a human rights issue that Airlines must per accommodate each overweight passenger if needed. You know, so it's unclear policies. Uh, if people that are overweight, oh, excuse me, U.S. airlines create policies themselves. Okay, so if U.S. airline airlines, the United States airlines are creating their own policies in a way they can create those policies to be discriminatory because like we discussed earlier, if a tall person is bumping into a, a person's seat in front of them and that's making them feel uncomfortable, why, why shouldn't they be charged for two seats, the front and the back? So you understand how there's discrepancies between, between uh, overweight passengers and tall people? Uh, so we need to support the overweight community. I understand that uh, over uh, that weight is a sensitive topic, but if we attack it in the right direction by providing better seating, by providing clear policies, by providing non-discriminatory policies, we are able to move in a more positive direction. And we have to make the airlines 
understand that it is not the overweight passenger's fault. That it is the airline's fault for being ignorant to the facts. And all the facts were stated right now. So I want to thank you for your time. Uh, and that's me. Thank you.